Hi everyone! Today we will be sewing our uh, bikini pattern top Venice. This is a very simple pattern. We've, this is one of the first patterns we have launched. And today I'm going to do it on a size S. You have the fold line mentioned here. And I'm going to use these two beautiful fabrics which I really love. Uh, so I'll be using this one and also this one and I really be using this as a reversible because I really love both of the fabrics. So let's start cutting the fabrics and start sewing. This fabric has a very specific print and since I really want this to be perfect I'm going to align the fabric first to make sure that when I cut my, my, two, uh, my, my front uh, it is perfectly aligned. So I'm going to start by aligning the fabric to make sure that this turns out perfect. So this is a very simple pattern. We already have here our two straps that we can just fold and sew with the elastic. And we have our two fabrics. If you are making a, this as a non-reversible, I mean reversible method, but then you will not use it on one of the sides, you can um, open a small hole and insert uh, this extra support for your breasts. If you are really not going to use this as a reversible, you can also sew this to your lining. We will have another video on our channel on how to do both options sewing to the lining and a small hole for insert the padding. So for now let's just place right sides facing together and pin the entire top except the top and the sides. Now that everything is pinned, just two details before I go to my sewing machine. I decided that my main fabric will be this blue one. That's why I pinned with this side facing up on my table. I will now apply the elastic on top of my main chosen fabric, so this one, and I will apply the elastic on all the pinned areas. Below the bust, I will give a little bit of tension on the elastic to make this fit better. And on the V area, I, I always do this when, uh, whenever I have patterns with this shape, so you can see this in all my tutorials. I will stop sewing with my overlock, I will go to my straight stitch, I will do the the V-shape area here with my straight stitch machine and then I will continue with the overlock. If it's easier for you to insert the straps with the lower part of, of the top open, you can start by sewing the neckline and under the arms and leave this to the end. So let's start sewing. So we now have our uh, V center and we are we were on the on the overlock so I'm coming to my regular machine and I'm going using a, an elastic stitch I'm going to do the, the this V shape area over here applying the elastic near the ends and then I cut and then I uh, restart Now I'm going to sew again on my V without being very concerned with the elastic. I'm going to do the V shape twice to make sure that this is secure because afterwards I will want to trim. So I really want to make sure that this is secure. So with my loop turner I'm going to reverse my straps to the right side. And I'm going to trim the excess um, threads here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut near the lines that I've made on my um, straight stitch machine. I'm going to uh, cut to make sure that this really is going to be have the V-shape that I want. Then I'm also going to trim all the edges of my elastic because I don't want this to be noticeable when my pattern is on the right side. So let's do that and we'll be back here.
There are fabrics that are much easier than others to reverse the straps. Some of them are sleep, uh, slippery and some aren't. So sometimes it's hard to do this. But just be patient and do it slowly. I'm sure you will be able to do it. When I started, sometimes it took me ages to reverse the straps, but now it's getting easier. Despite this specific fabric, I already had done one piece with it, so I knew that it wasn't going to be easy to do thin straps, but it's okay. I will be patient and I will do it. So, just like you. Now let's grab our straps and we can see perfectly where the elastic ends and where we do not have elastic. To make sure that this is uh, nice and beautiful on your swimsuit, the best that we can do is to cut where, when the elastic stops. So if we cut, it will be much nicer on our top. So cut the, the small piece that doesn't have elastic, okay? And then we will insert it using the lower opening. We will insert it with our seam facing the fabric that we consider our second fabric. We will, we will uh, just insert it here, clip and sew over, over this area with our straight stitch machine. I don't know if you've noticed but I ended up sewing the entire neckline with my blue thread because I want to make sure that on my right side I will not see the white from my overlock. But this is optional, maybe you changed your threads every time you sew. A piece of swimwear. Uh, I only have black and white so I used white and then I, I do this. Secure this and we can then put the straps inside and uh, sew over all this area applying elastic and a little bit of tension below the, the, um, the bust. So again uh, I'm trimming the, the, the sharp edges of my elastic and I'm going to trim also up here where we secured our straps just like I told you I would not cutting my straight stitch machine stitches. And now it's very simple. You just need to reverse this to the right side and we are almost there. Use one of the, one of the sides, uh, the hole. I've actually already uh, placed my uh, strap here. So I will pull uh, on that side and I will reverse my entire piece to the right side. Okay, so now the only part that uh, we are missing is creating the channel for our straps. So uh, we have uh, th this end here, this where we have the hole, and if you want, you can fold inside a little bit of the fabric. You fold it in inside to make it a better finish, okay? And then you fold the fabric, making sure you have enough room for your strap to go. So just like this, fold, and pin. Even if we want to use this on this side we will still be able to do it. So uh, to make this uh, nice and pretty is, is important in this case. So just do this on both sides and then I'm gonna take some pictures with my uh, straps crossed or straight. You can use them however you prefer, it's your choice. I hope you liked our video and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your comments if you have any. Thank you! So this is in detail how our, our finish uh, side end up uh, staying so I think it's good enough and on this side so I think it's good. Now we just need to go with our straps through the channel and our Venice is ready.